Okay, how's it going everybody? So, uh, we just got a new addition to our uh, garage here. Uh, since it's coming up on winter and we're expecting snow any minute, it's not coming now, but it's uh, December at the moment. Uh, yeah, we found something from Stony Creek, which is not too far outside of Hamilton. And uh, yeah, let me show you what we got. <coughs> It's a 1973 uh, Arctic Cat Panther. I keep wanting to say Pantera, but it's not Pantera, it's a Panther. <coughs> the uh, old owner, it was his mom's, uh, nicknamed him Mini. But you can see, it's a Panther 400. Like I said, 1972. Uh, it's a little worse for wear at the moment, at least the seat is. Uh, I got a second seat, I'll talk about that in a minute, but uh, she's mostly mostly all there. Uh, it's kind of broken, broken in places, a few things, as the uh, pull starts broken off. Uh, the windscreen's been sitting outside, so it's all tarnished, but I'm sure we can polish it up, but thankfully enough, you can actually buy them brand new. Uh, they're about $60, but you can get them from Royal Distributing. Uh, we can lift the hood here and uh, reveal the Kawasaki 400cc uh, twin cylinder air cooled two stroke. Very nice. Got a nice Arctic Cat deco on it. Uh, you can see it's, uh, it's not running at the moment, but it does turn over. It's got good compression. Oh, wow. It does have good compression. And, uh, yeah, it's going to need a carb clean. It's been sitting for quite a few years. Uh, I'm not sure how many. I'm going to say well over a decade outside. Well, maybe not a decade, but, uh, yeah, maybe a decade if this is any indication. I don't know if that's. 1980 something or 1990 something it's hard to say but uh, it could be a decade or two I don't know if it's uh, that could just be the last time it's got a trail pass but uh, yeah uh, otherwise it seems pretty good just because it's sitting doesn't mean it's bad uh, skis are free sleds free or the uh, steering's free it's got a bit of a mouse uh, nest going up in there uh, it's not, uh, it looks a little rusty, but it's not too bad. It's mostly just surface rust. The aluminum tub is in a really good condition. A few, a few dings and dents, sorry. A few dings and dents like right here, but otherwise not too bad. Uh, some of the, uh, some of the deck, or the, uh, the uh, emblems are broken and, uh, loose so we're going to see about getting some off ebay or if anybody maybe has some uh maybe drop us a message and uh, we'll work something out same with the uh arctic cat at the front it's an arct cat so need a new one of those and we're going to get a new decal uh, set you can get those off ebay as well uh, in the early 70s uh, arctic cat was all about the, the pink and the purpley pink so pretty neat pretty girly but kind of neat I don't got a problem with it and uh, yeah you can see the rev uh, counter there quite nice it's got electric start obviously it doesn't work at the moment there's no battery uh, the choke lever is stuck it's got uh, again a nice tub both came with ownerships uh, which is cool uh, what else can I say? Uh, I don't know, it's quite nice. Oh, the track is a uh, pretty old school, neat sort of vintage track. Uh, we can see under here, you can see it's a three belt with these metal cleats, which is pretty classic style. Uh, they're in fairly good condition. It could probably be better, but we'll see. All the, uh, the little nubs on the inside seem in decent condition. All seem to be there. Seems to roll fairly freely. 
It's all rusty because it's been sitting outside, but we're gonna mostly strip it apart and, uh, and get her functional uh, for this year. Uh, hopefully we get some snow soon and uh, get her running soon. And uh, we got her functional for this year and uh, we'll get her uh, going. Rip her around a little bit, not too much. Don't want to hurt it or anything if it's not doing the best, but I think it will. It seems good. The guy said he did. He did do the crank seals in the engine, but he did say that was a couple, like maybe 10 years ago or so. So, you know, it could be good, could not be good. We'll see. But otherwise, we're going to take the engine out and uh, clean everything up. And we'll see how that goes. Should be all right. Sprayed everything with penetrating fluid. We're obviously going to take the carburetor off and clean that. We get new spark plugs. Uh, I want to clean and paint up this uh, uh, the belt guard and the, uh, the uh, chain guard uh, case. And uh, we'll clean up the aluminum tub over here. It's very nice. And we felt the uh, the main drive sprocket underneath here. Uh, it felt pretty good. I don't know if it's uh, brittle or if it's bad or it felt kind of supple. It didn't seem uh, didn't seem terrible. I'm not too sure. That's going to be uh, something else trying to find one. But we also were thinking of replacing the suspension if uh, otherwise to a newer model that we can get a newer track from. But not too too new. Don't want it to be. Don't want it to detract from its old school style. But we want to have uh, to get new tracks. You know, we don't want to just always be using old tracks that are 30 plus years old 40 years old you know i don't want to be you know running on borrowed time as it were but anyways i uh, thought i'd uh, show you a brief overview of our arctic cat panther 1973 and uh thanks for watching i hope you like it and uh yeah look for more uh Look for more videos as uh, as the winter comes, and as we get it running, we're gonna have a we'll have a startup video soon. We're gonna get the plugs for it again, clean the carb like I said, and she's gonna be running like a kitten, so like the panther she is. So, anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you like uh, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, have a good day. Thank you.